I'm going to show you how to use the Books panel in Affinity Publisher. The Books panel allows you to combine multiple Affinity Publisher files into one cohesive document, which can then be exported or saved in a range of different formats, such as JPEG, EPS, PNG and PDF. The Books panel also allows you to synchronize reference information, such as tables of contents, numbers and textiles. So to begin, we'll go to Window and we'll select Books which will open the Books panel in the left studio. To create a new book file, we'll simply click Create New Book. The Books panel imports documents as chapters, and in turn will combine these chapters into one cohesive file. So I'll choose to import several documents that I wish to combine by either going to the Panel Options menu and selecting Add Chapter, or by clicking the Add Chapter button found in the bottom of the Books panel. I can then locate my documents, and choose Open. And we can see now that the documents have been imported into the Books panel as chapters. We can reorder the chapters by simply click dragging the chapters into place. For instance, I could simply click drag my front cover to the front of my book. I can also use this as an opportunity to set my style source chapter. By clicking to the left of my chosen chapter, I can assign which chapter I want to act as my style source synchronizing information such as textiles and making the styles consistent throughout the book. Next, I'm going to synchronize the book's reference information, specifically the numbers used within the book. So I'll select my chapters, go to the panel options menu, scroll down to update numbers and choose all numbers. This will automatically update all of the page, list and note numbers used within the chapters, causing them to run sequentially throughout the book. Notice that under my number settings, I have update numbers before output and update page numbers automatically selected. The books panel will carry out this action automatically upon export. In addition to page and note numbering, some of my chapters contain tables of contents. So I'll locate my table of contents by double clicking on the chapter in question and this will open the chapter as a document in the document view. I want to make sure that my table of contents gathers information from the entire book rather than just the first chapter or document. So with my text frame that contains my table of contents selected, I'll locate the table of contents panel by going to Window, References and Table of Contents. I'll then change the scope option from Document to Book, expanding the table of contents search area. Finally, I'll press the Update All Table of Contents button found at the top of the table of contents panel. As we can see, the table of contents has now been updated to reflect the entries from the other chapters within the book. Once I'm happy with the updates, I'll choose to close down the chapter, at which point I'll be prompted to save any changes that I have made. Saving will overwrite the original AFPub document that's been added as a chapter. I'll choose to accept the changes, so I'll press save. With my numbers and tables of contents updated and text style synchronized, I'll now choose to save the book file. Going back to the books panel, we'll go to the panel options menu and choose Save Book As. I'll rename the book and choose where to save it. Once I'm happy, I'll click Save. As a final step, I'm going to export the book as a PDF. So I'll go to the Panel Options menu and choose Export. I'll select PDF from the first File Format dropdown and I'll ensure that my preset is set to PDF for Print and that my raster DPI is set to 300. I'll also ensure that the selected area dropdown is set to all chapters. I can also make some adjustments to the advanced settings. I can make specific changes such as defining the color space and profile, adding printer marks and so on. So I'll make sure that my color space has been set to CMYK and that my color profile is set to Fogar 39. Once I'm happy with my settings, I'm going to click Export. I'll then rename my document and choose where I'd like to save the export. I'll then click Save. Publisher will then export the file as a PDF. Opening the PDF, we can see that our chapters have been combined into a single PDF document, updating our page numbers and table of contents. And that's how to combine documents as chapters into a single PDF export using the Books panel in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.